Let's do a problem. Let's find a polynomial f of x such that its degree is 5 and it has roots of multiplicity, multiplicity 2 at x equals to 3. That means x equals to 3, this root repeats twice, two times. This root x equals to 1 also repeats for two times and x equals to negative 3 is a root just for one time. And the graph of this polynomial function should pass through y-intercept 0, 0,9. Then let us write down the initial version of the equation of the polynomial function which would be f of x equals a times x minus 3 square since x equals to 3 is a root of the uh, given polynomial function so x equals to 3 means simply x minus 3 equals to 0 all right so that's why x minus 3 is there and multiplicity 2 t means it is repeated for two times so we write down the power in this way similarly for x equals to 1 you write x minus 1 equals 0 and its multiplicity is also 2 so we go for x minus 1 whole square and finally x equals negative 3 means x plus 3 okay so whenever you add plus 3 to both sides then the right hand side would be 0 so that would be x plus 3 so this is our polynomial function okay the only thing that we need to do now is to find the value of a such that it passes through the point 0, 0,9. Now, if this polynomial function passes through this point 0, 0,9, certainly if we plug in um, 0 for all of the x, then we'll be finding in this way f of 0 equals a 0 minus 3 whole square is negative 3 square. 0 minus 1 is negative 1 square and x plus 3 means 0 plus 3 which is simply 3 and we know that 0 its functional value is 9 so let us write this as 9 equals a times 9 times 1 times 3 then we can write this as let us divide both sides by 9 times 1 times 3 so that would be a equals to 9 divided by 9 times 3 so 9 and 9 cancels out so therefore a equals to one third thus our polynomial function is f of x equals one third of x minus 3 whole square x minus 1 whole square and x plus 3 so that's our polynomial function